Good evening. Welcome to my channel. My name is Felipe. I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, give us a like. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Start the notifications. Share this video with your friends. If you're going to buy an internet, click in the link in the description. Shopping Amazon.com. If you could help. You can donate and help the channel to buy better equipment and get better every day. Thank you very much. If one party is uncertain and willing to take risks, then he or she might choose a setting or buying term that puts the majority or responsibility on the other party. This cultural strategy is often employed by first-time sporters and importers. They should realize that if they allow other parties to assume all the risks, these other parties will collect more than enough to compensate themselves for this risk taking. One of the signs of growth or maturity in a firm engaged in international trade is whether it controls its inbound and outbound moves. This depends in large part on the common size. That's no secret. High volume can command high level of service at a relatively low price. With regard to shipments from Korea to the United States, up until about five years ago, between 6% or 70% of the cargo that came from Korea move with free along ship side or free on board as the cargo came under continuous control at Korean dock side or upper landing. Now 1992 the ratio is reversed between 6 and 70 percent. Moves cost insurance freight meaning under control of Korean exporters. Terms of payment. Terms of payment refers to the manner by which the seller will be paid for his goods. Terms of payment can range from insisting on cash in advance to conventional billing of regular customers on, say, a monthly basis. Payment can also be in the form of another good, and this is known as bartering or counter trading. The importance of credit. Credit is more than a convenience. In today's world, it's an economic necessity. The federal government itself rel relies heavily, if not too heavily, on credit to finance government operations. But to most customers, credit means instalment buying. At a given point in time, one may not have the cash to purchase an item, even though that item may be essential to one's well-being. It may be a raincoat, a washer, or even a badly needed vacation. It's not that one cannot afford that item. If that were the case, then credit would not be extended, no matter how badly one needed the item. On the contrary, credit is extended only to people or companies who can afford the expense over time. How much time is allowed is a function of the amount of credit extended and the ability to repay the obligation at each installment including interest. Ability to repay is a function of income. Thus, one might buy a camera or credit today in anticipation of being paid next week. Moreover, one might willing to pay more for the item just to get the current utility. The exact same model camera may be worth more to a buyer because it can be purchased on time. Business entities work in much the same way. Indeed, the discussion of credit serves to introduce one of the most important topics, international trade in merchandise. Trade terms, essentially, trade terms define the amount of credit the seller is willing to extend to the buyer. The similarities to consumer credit should be kept in mind. 
business sell products or services in order to sell those things they must first make buy or position themselves 